Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I will be unboxing another eBay mystery box. It's a makeup mystery box. Um, this one cost me $200. So hopefully it's better than my last one. My first experience was kind of like meh. I'll go ahead and link that video up here so you can check it out. So if you are excited to see what I got in my box, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. So this one is actually from the same person, I think that's it, the same person that Manny got his box from and it is Hello Harlow on eBay. And this says mystery makeup and beauty box coming soon. HelloHarlow.com. Follow us on social media at Hello Harlow Box. So it is like a whole business. I know that um, this shipping took a little bit longer than she had expected it or they had expected it. But they did explain and reach out to me saying like we're a little bit busy or we're a little behind because, you know, I guess when Manny did his, it kind of blew them up. So needless to say, this box cost me $200. So hopefully what is inside is worth said $200 and it's not used touched products or full of nothing but BoxyCharm like my previous one. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. She has it taped down and then a cute little thank you Jamie. I did get another thank you card inside. So it comes, it's kind of small where like the $100 one was a lot bigger. Um, so hopefully it has as many products. Oh, and they're not wrapped. So it's like open up in here. So the first thing I see is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. And I believe this is a mini one. So the full size is actually eight milliliters and this one is five milliliters. So this is a little bit smaller. And the original, like the normal size is $30. So I don't really have a price as to how much this one costs, but probably right around 15 if they were to sell it. I actually don't own any Pat McGrath stuff. I was thinking about buying some, then I did not because it's so expensive. Oh, okay. So it is just like a sample size. It is three milliliters smaller than the original. That is a nice brush. So I'm gonna have to take a look into that because if that works out, I will be buying that for real. All right, so the next thing I have in here are Kojindo, so KGD pure cotton, 10 pads made from cotton, which is chemically treated harshness bleaches. Perfect for removing makeup and applying skincare. Okay, I wasn't really certain what they were, but here they are. They're just like thin, no, they're thicker, but they're 100% cotton. I only see them on Amazon, a 60 count for like $15, and this is like 10. So a sixth of 15 is like $2.50. So $2.50 and 15 so far. So let's move on to the next item, which is Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And this is by Wander Beauty. It wasn't in a box, so that makes me believe that it might have been a BoxyCharm item. And it's also kind of like scratched up here at the bottom, but it's not open. Um, I will be putting this in the giveaway because again, like I said in previous videos, I'm trying to stay away from any oils onto my face. And the illuminating face oil, by the way, was $42. So that's not bad. But the next thing I have in here is larger than life long wear eyeliner by nars box is pretty beat up so i'm wondering if like this stuff is like from tj Maxx, and it is gold campo di fiori yep it's gold so we're gonna put her right back in there and we're gonna put her in the giveaway because i will not use gold eyeliner so the long wear so this re, um, retails for 24 dollars but again it will be going in the giveaway um i will be announcing the giveaway here in the next week or two but i'm going to do a video announcing it and kind of showing you guys what's in the box and what you have the chance of winning all right so the next thing is the anastasia beverly hills naked liquid lipstick and this is 20 dollars um it's in the shade naked which is really really too light for my skin tone so this too will be going in the giveaway so I have two products that I'm keeping but 
again that's something that I kind of accept and I prepare myself for because I do have so much makeup as it is it's really not this person's fault that they don't know what I own I, so it's kind of hard to be like what do you have so I don't give you too much um, I will tell you that she did reach out to me with a whole survey um, of questions like you know what do you like do you like skincare do you like this what's your skin tone but I did say that I didn't want anything like foundation wise or whatever because that's really hard to match and I didn't want to get something that I couldn't use and I did tell her I wanted skincare because I do like some skincare um, and she did ask if this was my first box and I lied and said yes I lied but I just wanted it to kind of be like a first try first you know what I mean I didn't want anything special out of it so if it wasn't my first I didn't want her to go okay well how was your last experience I want to make sure it's better and try to like fluff it up I didn't want that I just wanted it to be raw new unknown so I did fib about that but it's only my second box so but I did like that she reached out to me and asked me a whole list of questions I loved that she was very kind during this whole process and all of this looks unopened and untouched which is nice all right, so let's move on to the next item, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so the next product I have here um, is the Smashbox The Hood Witch Crystallized, and this is the Photo Finish Crystal Clarity Primer Water, Lavender and Sweet Orange Scented. So this, I looked it up, I could not find it anywhere but on Smashbox website and it's sold out obviously i think it is very old um because it's on sale for 16 dollars, which it is originally 32 dollars. so i don't know when this came out i don't know how old this is but i do love their primer water so i'm excited about this i'm just hoping it doesn't stink mm, no Oh my god, that smells really good. So this is definitely like a calming spray. I love lavender. I love the way it smells. I don't know that I would put this on my face, but I might just spritz it around to give me like a little calming zen. I don't know, but I'm really excited about it. I have not tried anything other than their normal primer water, so I'm excited to try it out. I like a good setting spray, and again, that one was $32. So I can already see what this is before I open it and I'm wondering if I should open the bubble wrap or keep it bubble wrapped. She had like a kilowatt palette. Um, I actually had it for a long time, never used it. I wound up giving it away to a co-worker of mine. So she's back. <laughs> um, and this is called, what was it called? It's the kilowatt foil freestyle highlighter palette. So the colors just were not for me. Um, highlighter wise, there's no way I can use a large variety of these. Um, and I know a lot of people were using them as eyeshadow and I just have so much eyeshadow that it honestly, it never got touched. So I did give it away to a friend of mine, but apparently I am meant to have it. But it is originally $54. It's on sale right now at Sephora for 23 because it is quite old. I'm not going to open her up. I'm going to go ahead and put this aside for the giveaway. So that's super awesome. You have a Fenty product in there. Okay, who's excited? So the next thing we have here, Kat Von D Brow Struck Dimension Powder in the shade Medium Brown. Oh, it's Dimension Brow Powder. Okay, I'll keep this. So basically, and I think that will be fine because it gives it like d different dimensions. It's not supposed to be worn by itself. So then, okay, cool. That'll work out. That's cute too. I love that little packaging. So cute. This little puppy is originally $21, but is right now retailing for $8 on sale. All right, and then we have a nice little package here. It looks like some kind of face oil maybe. So this is the Josie Moran Argon Cleansing Oil for Body. Nourishing Argon Oil Daily Body Cleanser for all skin types. Is it for your, if it's for your body? So it is a mini version of it. It is a luxury, it says luxury with conscience. I guess it's just a cleanser and you use it on your body and it's oily so I will keep this one but I can't put it on my face because again I'm trying to stay away from that and not to 
make my skin angry in any way. Okay, so the six fluid ounces for this is $34 and I got about two ounces. It's 1.9. So I think that it is for your face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap her back up and I'm going to put her in the giveaway as well. So the next thing I have is a Vici Laboratories Idelia BB Cream Sample. All right, so this one is Glytone Rejuvenating Mini Peel Gel. Ooh, skincare. Anything that is rejuvenating and peeling is okay with me. Smell pleasant at all. So it just looks like it is a peel like gel. You're supposed to just leave it on for a few minutes and then you wipe it off. It says 10.8 free acid value. I'm not certain what that means. It does contain AHAs in it, which I love, and so does my skin. So this is a win. Ooh, okay, so this, this is $64. This is a $64 product, and I'm super excited to try it. I love anything with AHAs in it, so that's not bad. I am excited. I will let you know how that one goes. Let's move on and see what we got in here. All right, so we're gonna see the next item. It looks a little big. It says Bobby Brown on it, so I'll tell you that. Spoiler alert. All right, so the next thing is a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette, and this is called Couture Drama. She looks really thick. I'm excited. And this retails for $59. Oh, snaps. Oh, okay, fancy. So it's like this hard plastic and thick, thick case. Oh, those are pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, I love this. Ooh. Okay, I'm super excited. It's a very neutral, like you definitely tell it's a Bobbi Brown palette because it's just very neutral and has some shimmers and some mattes in here. So I'm pretty excited about this. All right, so the next thing I have in here is another skincare item. It is the Elta MD Skincare, a Swiss American company. It is UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. It calms and protects acne prone skin. Okay. High purity niacinamide, all right, transparent zinc oxide, UVA, and UV protection, facial sunscreen. So it's sunscreen, but it's for those, it's oil free, so it's going to be perfect for my skin. It won't make it crazy and angry. And the only place I could find this was on dermstore.com. You can get it at other dermatologies, um, dermatologist office but it's $36 from what I've seen. So it's a lightweight, oil-free face sunscreen to protect acne-prone skin. So again, I think that that's something really awesome. It's oil-free, because if it has too much oil, it's gonna upset my skin. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I've been all about sunscreen lately. So the next thing I am super excited about, this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, and it is in the color diamond milk i actually have this one so this is the one that i have it is just a universal lip gloss with some white silvery shimmers but i have it and it's super full because i have not used it that often so this will also be going in the giveaway two fancy items in the giveaway oh god so the last item we have here is the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder in the color original. It's kind of messed up the packaging, but it's not open. But I also have this one. So this is what the product is. It is just a white translucent setting powder, and this is in the shade Original. And I only use it so often. It's really not a bad setting powder. It's just not my favorite, and I don't go to it often, but I don't mind it. So this one retails for $29. It's actually on sale right now at Ulta for $20.30, which is a really weird amount, but I'm also gonna be putting it in the giveaway. Um, it is a little, like the package is the plastic here is a little ripped, ripped, but it's not open. I can tell it's still in its package. It's just a little ripped. This is not bad stuff. Like this is pretty nice stuff. And I just, for me, I know that I won't go through the 30 setting powders I have plus this one to get to that one. So I want to give it away to someone who can use it in a timely manner. So that was it for my box. We are empty. There's nothing in here. So we're going to go ahead and zoom on over and do my final thoughts on the box. Okay, so obviously I paid $200 and I'm only keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
items. Seven items. Now, do I think that this is a bad box? Absolutely not. Do I think that you should be getting a box like this if you have a ton of makeup? No. This is the type of thing that you either one, want to do for like YouTube purposes or social media just for fun. Um, for fun or you are starting out on makeup and you don't want to spend a crap ton so you go and get a mystery box this cost me $200 but the total of this box I've been adding it up cost $428.50 so I got over double what I paid for the box and it really did have some good items in there we got Fenty we had NARS we had ABH Smashbox the super expensive skin tone or super expensive skincare we had Pat McGrath we had Bobby Brown I mean it really was packed full with a lot of name brand stuff I didn't have anything that was drugstore um but i'm really excited about this one i'm excited about the new things that i get to keep i'm excited that i got to add a bunch of cool stuff that i know you guys are gonna like to the giveaway so all in all i give this box two thumbs up like it was that expensive yes but you got well what you paid for it honestly my two favorite things of the box that i'm keeping the two favorite things that I'm not keeping, the Derma Blend Powder and the Fenty Gloss Bomb because these two I use and I really like. But my two favorite things are the Bobbi Brown Couture Drama Palette. I'm excited for that. And the Glytone Rejuvenating Mini Peel Gel. I'm excited to see what this does. We'll see. I mean, it might be good, might be bad might be dangerous I don't know but we're here to find out so I hope you guys really enjoyed this and again the seller's name is hello harlow on ebay nothing was used nothing was open nothing was from freaking boxycharm except for maybe the wander beauty that's a little bit suspicious but one thing is not bad it's not a whole box of boxycharm because that made me mad so i would definitely give the seller two thumbs up she handled everything really nicely um it was a very beautiful customer service so hello harlow if you are watching this and you see this i think you did an amazing job keep going you have an amazing business and i think that anyone who is newer to makeup is getting a steal when it comes to these boxes so i hope you guys like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and as always i will see you on the next one bye